the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Boxingboys.com. I'm here with upcoming prospect, Joseph Fair Ortiz. You already know who Coach Rell is right here. How you feeling today, Coach? I'm feeling great. Okay. It's working, man. I'm trying to get Jamie and that, Jamie and that, Jamie. That's the goal. Okay. Before I get old. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm reaching my point where I'm getting lazy, but the more these guys push, the harder I push. Okay. All right, now, before we get anything else, man, what's going on with uh, Prospect Joseph Fair Ortiz? What's next for him? Uh, we going February 23rd. Hard right, hitting the arena. Uh, they had Christian Tappy at 7 and 06 knockout, so unfortunately that fight didn't go on, so we looking for another one. Uh, you know, he ready for anybody. Okay. Anybody with under 10 fights, undefeated, whatever, bring him. I'm mm. ready. I got that much confidence in my training ability and his skill that we ready for anybody. Absolutely, absolutely. So now this is at the Met, right? This is at, is the, at the Met, Met Broad Street. Now they said the last time it was a boxing match there was, there was what, like 50, 60, 60, 55, years, 55 years ago? 56, I'm sorry. 56 years ago, yeah. right? How you feel about that, Joseph Fat? Because that's, cause that's mm -hmm. monumental, man. That's historical. How do you feel about, you know, potentially being able to go in here, man, and fight in a building where they haven't had fights for 56 years? Feel good. I'm I'm ready to bring the spark back. I'm saying I'm ready to go in there and, and, and bring the house down. I'm saying just go in there, do what I gotta do. I'm saying and, and just you know, just show out, just show out like I like I like I've been doing. I'm saying keep the momentum going. That's yeah. it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Now I want to get into this match, man, because I I think it's a very intriguing um, matchup. American Terrence Crawford. First, yeah. what do you think about that matchup, Ralph? You know, I'm a Terry Bud, T-Bud fan all the way to the to the grip. And I think he'll come out victorious, but American is dangerous for anybody. Everybody talk about his chin. I see. I think he have a chin to just the punches that he don't see when he get hit. But as you can see, when he got hit with Danny and when he got hit with... Uh, Canelo. Canelo. He was rumbling back. Yeah. He got the heart. He got the skill to will. But the chin always fell him somehow, some way. He's a dangerous Canelo. man. He's speeding his movement. All he got to do is not get caught. What do you think about that matchup, Joseph? Fett? I agree. I'm saying I agree with Rao. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard matchup. He, um, he got the speed. He's slick. You know, and he come to fight. He got the heart. You know, um, it's not, it's not, it's not a tough fight for anybody, and and, and I think he's gonna put up a good fight, like he always does, you know, till he gets caught. But he he's gonna bring, he's gonna bring a fight, he's gonna bring the fight to uh, to Terrence Crawford, and I expect a good fight. Okay, now just to, actually that was a perfect segue into this next question. Is he said when he gets caught, um, like to say that when he got caught, he got caught with uh, Canelo Alvarez at a much higher weight. Um, Danny Garcia, dynamite, you know, in both hands, and he got caught by Bradis Prescott. But Bradis Prescott was 19 and 0 with 17 knockouts at the time. A puncher, another right. puncher. That's my point. Um, does Terrence Crawford have that one hit a quitter power to down him? And if he doesn't, what is the likelihood of this going to a decision in America coming out victorious? I never seen him with the punching power to down somebody with a one punch. Knockout power, but he does have that change your mind power. Mm. And when uh, Terrence Crawford hit anybody, it changes their mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I seen him getting beat down until he landed that shot, and it changed a lot of people's mind. It might even put a couple of them down. And when they get up, they think like, oh, this is something different. This is not what I was in the first three or four rounds. You know what I'm saying? It's just he... He take a, enough time to figure the opponent out and to catch him with that right shot to change the momentum. Mm. And he, and all his fights change the momentum. Every fight he had, he changed the momentum. You agree with that, Joseph? Yeah, I, I agree. Probably, he probably don't have the one the one hitter quitter, but he do have, you know what I'm saying, the, the type of punch that's gonna make you cautious, you know what I'm saying, make you think about, hold up, you know what I'm saying? 
I might get hit with that and 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 I might not like it, you know. So it it uh makes his opponents real cautious on on on, on what they want to do, you know. Okay. So. When I first saw this matchup, right, I thought to myself, um, as big as the names are, could this be a boring fight? Because typically we see a bull in the matador. You know, we see the puncher versus the boxer. In this case, we see two people who could play chess. Both for both for long boxers, punchers. Have we seen a matchup like this before? No, you haven't. Um, I don't think none of the teams, I mean, uh, American fights was born. None. Okay. No fight he ever been in was born. Okay. Because that's the kind of fight he is. He gonna bring the fight, he gonna speed you down, he gonna throw, 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 till he get caught. And unfortunately that failed in uh, every loss he had, but, Man, he's still a monster. He's still dangerous. And it's been some fights that he's have been caught and still been able to continue and win. So yeah. Is this a good matchup, Joseph Fan? I think it's a great I think it's a great matchup. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think it's gonna be a boring fight at all. Okay. You know, they're 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 both the type of fighter that if they get hit they want it back. You know, mm. right back. You know, and and um Amir Khan showed that, you know, even hurt, he still fight back. He try to fight back, and 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 sometimes that's that's his downfall. Is trying to fight back while he's hurt, okay. you know, because that's that's when he gets caught, you know, yeah. and and unfortunately just goes out to fight, you know. But but you know, um, it's gonna be a great fight. I, I think it's gonna be a, a really good fight. Okay. Well, I want to thank y'all for your time, Coach Rel, Joseph Fat Ortiz, BoxingBoys.com. I'm Jay Goodman. Thanks for clicking on. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.